And welcome into Getting Help from Uncle Sam. Our guest this week is Nick Nyberg, and he's the Division Chief at the Alabama Department of Senior Services, Programs and Planning. That's right. That's a mouthful. It is and that's a, a load of work. First and foremost, Alabama Department of Senior Services is a great government organization. Thank you. You know, you hear a lot of times about, well, what's government doing? They're doing. That's if it. you're a senior in this state, you need any help, this is the guy that's responsible for it. Well, thank you, Jack. Absolutely. We work very hard. You do. I know. And then, and then programs, and the program list is this long. That's right. But today, let's talk about something that this is the time of the year everybody says, it's Medicare. Open enrollment. Open enrollment. That's it. And that is probably one of the most confusing things in the world. That's right. What can make it simple for a person, well, if, if there is a way? Yeah, there is a way because we have trained uh, staff. We have okay. trained volunteers mm -hmm. that are located all throughout the state, covering all 67 counties. Wow. And they provide free counseling. They provide uh, what I call unbiased counseling. That Good. is counseling from someone who does not work for an insurance plan, mm -hmm. who's not trying to pitch a certain insurance right. plan. They're merely there to navigate all of the Medicare plans for someone who mm -hmm. is already a Medicare beneficiary to let them know what plans are available in their area, what the cost is to ensure that that plan covers the medications that they're currently prescribed. Mm -hmm. They give a, a report to that person uh, to give them that uh, tangible information that they can look at themselves to know what uh, coverage is there. They try to simplify it and do uh, as best as possible to uh, to make uh, Medicare not as confusing as it already is. Yeah, because a lot of the things when you're looking at the plans right. and you say, okay, what is really covered? And it seems like, you know, we just got word that next year, Social Security, a whooping 2.5% cost of living, that's nothing. Right. That, that Compared to all the expenses that are out there, that, it, it should be a slap on the hand to Social Security for doing that. But at the same time, with a lot of the different plans, all of a sudden maybe the copay has gone up. Right. Yep. And uh, there are benefits available. I always like to mention this, and anytime I do a, a presentation about Good. Medicare and open enrollment, the uh, trained counselors, whenever someone receives that either one-on-one -on face-to-face counseling session or mm -hmm. over the telephone, whatever that may be, our counselors are also always screening for Medicare savings benefits. Mm -hmm. Now, these are benefits that people can apply for that would put money back in their pockets. That money could be used to go toward food and utilities. And you know today, those, those uh, yes. items are more expensive than ever before. Mm -hmm. And so our people are equipped to screen and even assist with completing an application to help people save out-of-pocket money at the same time. And I'm sure those are kind of means tested to say that not anybody can just apply for it or can just about anybody apply. Uh, no, not anyone. No. Now, it okay. is income-based. Okay. But I can say that normally when you say income-based, people automatically think, well, I'm not eligible because mm -hmm. I don't receive just seven or $800 a month. Right. Uh, the income uh, requirements are, are, are uh, fairly high. I would say probably 150 up to uh, 250 percent of the poverty line mm -hmm. and uh, that's where our uh, professionalism comes into place right. and our uh, understanding of the benefits where we can look at that uh, income and know exactly if that person's going to qualify or not and then we'll go through that application process mm -hmm. and these people like you say in every and they're in 67 counties that's correct because now you don't have senior centers in all 67 or do you now no. Now, we have uh, 13 area agencies on aging. Okay. Those are the agencies that we uh, fund okay. to provide this service and many other services, like mm -hmm. I said, that long list. And then there are also senior centers that serve meals for older adults. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a little over 330 of those. And a lot of times during Medicare open enrollment, uh, the counselors will go out and do uh, Medicare open enrollment events and they will utilize the senior centers or they'll utilize uh, local uh, public offices uh, or civic centers, mm -hmm. places like that, so people can come to them to receive that counseling session because I think you said this before when I've seen you that a lot of people like that that face-to-face, -face, that one-on-one yes, -on -one, yes, uh, interaction and so that's why uh, those open enrollment events are held. Uh, also, uh, people can uh, uh, 
walk in and do a, a walk in appointment mm -hmm. uh, and even over telephone if they prefer that method as well. So, okay. so if a person is interested in that, how do they want to, how do they, can they go to 1 800 Age Line? Is that anywhere they are in the, the state? Dial 1 800 Age, Age Line. Line. That's right. Or they can go to our website, www.alabamaageline.gov. Mm -hmm. uh, at the top toolbar, there's our Help and Services uh, section that they can go to. There's a state map, it's a colorful map. It shows you exactly the areas that are covered by which agency and where mm -hmm. they live. Their telephone numbers there, their website addresses are there, their local telephone numbers are there. We have plenty of information to get in contact. Good. Well, again, thanks so much for what you're doing. And like you say, it's the confusing time of the year, especially if you're watching television. Every other commercial is somebody, especially like old Joe Namath. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they, yes. they drag old Joe to kind of say, hey, I can help you along the way. But anyway, make sure you can go to the, the Alabama Department of Senior Services, one of the premier agencies in the state of Alabama and across the country, by the way. A lot of their programs are being looked at by other states. We'll be right back right after this.